Skid Row, the epicenter for the homeless crisis in Los Angeles, but it is not just people on these streets struggling to survive. Many of them have pets, and some of the homeless are breeding these animals for money. Welcome back. I'm Colleen Sullivan, in for Giovanna Lara. I'm Mark Brown. You're watching Eyewitness News at 5, live on ABC7, Hulu, and wherever you stream. There are animal rescue groups focused on Skid Row trying to help those pets, but with shelters reaching their capacity and so many animals needing help, what can the city do? Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero examines this challenging issue in this Eyewitness News Investigates report. Sitting in a black sedan pulled over on a street in Skid Row, a kitten holds on. The beginning of his life could soon be the end. He needs medical help fast. Taking him there is Shira Scott. She does this several times a week, eight years and counting. No one grows up and goes, I want to be an animal rescuer or goes to college for this. You know, I was a theater major, but you can't not do it. Shira, Joey Tuccio, and Jen Sims are bonded by their animal rescue efforts. We tagged along on a routine checkup on Skid Row. Hi, do you need anything for your dog? We have a whole trunk filled with dog food. Yeah, okay. Where they say the animal overpopulation has grown to crisis level. Some are taken care of by the unhoused. Some are left to take care of themselves. Others get stuck in between. This video shows dogs in cages left on the sidewalks in the summer heat. Videos like this have prompted more than 18,000 people to sign a change.org petition begging city officials do more. City Council member Eunice Hernandez is brainstorming what she and her colleagues can do. They're starting with the breeder's permit, which someone can buy for $235. So far this year, the city has issued 1,300 new permits. Councilmember Hernandez introduced a motion to pause this, which the city council just approved unanimously. We are not able to get, the, to get pets out quick enough into homes, and we have to figure out different ways to slow down the stream of, you know, new pets being created. On Skid Row, a one-year-old Doberman named Pebbles is pregnant with her first litter. Her owner, Dwight, bred her intentionally. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have a license. He plans to sell the puppies, says doing so will help him get off the streets. Rescuer sent us video after video of litters littering the streets. Several show puppies in shopping carts, often for sale. The reasons why people breed dogs on Skid Row vary. At the root of them all is why not. So what's stopping them from continuing to do that, even if there is a moratorium? Breeders moratorium is the ordinance piece, but that's why we have to also talk about the staffing levels at our LA Animal Services Department. LA Animal Services plans to hire 120 part-time as-needed workers. If all goes well, they should take weeks rather than months to fill. The rescuers we spoke with believe adding ordinances and resources are two issues, but... Is there a more um, efficient way to work with the resources that we already have? Well, I would say that we, well, we, we need to add people. Enforcement is a third. Spay and neuter, get licenses, but do you have the adequate space for your animal? That's the rules. It just enforce them. Is there enough room for all these dogs if they weren't on Skid Row anymore? That is a great question. I think to everybody's point, these shelters are overrun right now. So that's why we have to stop it now before it gets even worse. The number of intakes at LA City Animal Shelters is creeping up to pre-pandemic level, with an average of 3,300 animals surrendered per month. Monthly intake levels hit a two and a half year peak this summer. The kitten taken off of Skid Row had mange and needed hernia surgery. He's recovering and no longer living on Skid Row, which means he's no longer living with Denisha. She agreed to let Shira, Joey, and Jen take him. Doing so wasn't easy. They're emotional support. She tells us she has lived on Skid Row on and off for five years. Help comes every so often for the animals and for the people. And when it's quiet, they have each other. Something to take care of. Be there for you. You be there for you. In Skid Row, Christiane Cordero, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.